Yesterday, I got the Elva Courier Mark III running, and today I want to take it to its first car show. So there's a local Cars and Coffee going on, and I'm planning on driving it down there. I don't see any leaks under the car, so I want to check that water reservoir and make sure that the water held in there. Yep, looks like it's holding. So I think this thing is good to go for its first test drive. I'm going to do a tiny bit of cleaning up on it and then we'll hit the road. There's just possibly years of dust and mouse urine and stuff like that sitting on this thing. I'll be using my favorite stuff for a really quick job, Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Detail. I'll spray it down, rub it with a microfiber, just get the junk off and then I'll spray it again and use a different microfiber for the final clean. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the car looks a whole lot better now. When I brought the camera real close to the car, you could probably see all that dust on there, but when I mounted it over there, it had probably disappeared. But in person, the car looks a whole lot better right now. Let's get over to Cars and Coffee. Nice to have the Elva out for its first show. This ended up being a much larger show than I thought it was going to be. This is a trunk or treat event, so lots of kids here in costumes, ready to get candy once the event starts. There are even vendors and celebrities signing books. Let's take a look around and see what kind of cars we can find. Right off the bat, there's a replica GT40. Next to it is a Ford Fairlane 500. And then we have a Mustang convertible. Nice Fox bodies are getting a little hard to find. Then we have a big Galaxy. And we've got another classic Mustang. And a classic Bronco. There's a bunch of Corvettes. Got an old Chevrolet. Still has the original four cylinder engine. This car has the engine vacuum driven fuel pump. So the engine vacuum will suck gasoline from the tank into this reservoir. And then from there, it gravity feeds down to the updraft carburetor. We have a Chevrolet pickup truck with a modern Vortec engine. You don't see this very often. This is a Ford LTD. And we've got an F-250 and a Chevrolet Chevelle. This one also has a modern Chevy V8 in it. I wonder how far these guys had to drive. There's two Honda micro trucks here. Got a couple more Chevelles. Oh, and a beautiful Grand Wagoneer down there with the wood paneling. It's great to see these unrestored cars coming out as well. Looks like this one's even dressed for Halloween. And we've got a 2006 Ford GT. Normally I probably wouldn't take any video of a Hyundai, but this one has an incredible sparkling paint that stands out from a long ways away. 
the Buick GS next to it. That is the Buick version of the Chevelle. Here's a really unusual car. I think this is a 1962 Ford Galaxy. Got a couple Trans Ams. This is a fiberglass Thunderbird replica. Members of the winning Iowa State football team, they are 7-0 and right now, are here. So, uh, there is a huge line for a meet and greet with them. This is just a wrap, but I know some people that would go crazy for a pink Bronco like this. We've got an old Econoline van here. That's really cool. Really nice. Nicely restored on the inside. All original condition, it looks like. Well, I had a great time today. That was a good show. I think everyone was really excited to get their cars out one last time before winter hits. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.